Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to play a G major chord and we're going to be playing this G major chord with your A major and D major that we learnt at the previous section of songs uh, choices in this kind of beginners course that I'm setting up for you. This is primarily to enable you to change between a G chord and a D major chord which is probably the most common acoustic guitar or electric guitar chord change that there is at this stage and also at higher level songs that we will cover as well. It's really important we can change between these chords and it's a really big change um, that a lot of people really struggle with so I've put this section up just to, to cover this change but there's also a lot of cool songs at this stage songs by James, songs by the Smiths, uh, the Beatles again some really cool ones so um, I hope you really enjoy it um, this G major chord, we need your first finger at 2nd fret on the 5th string. And remember we want to be at your side of the fret. We have your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the thickest E string. So this should be where a, a dot is on, on most guitars. should have a dot at this fret. You want to be at your side of the dot. So finger 1, finger 2. And then finally your third finger on the thinnest E string, again at third fret. So that's all the way down here and that's why this is a really a much wider shape that your hand needs to make to be able to play this chord. And if your guitar's in tune, this is what it should sound like. Those finger places again. One, two, and three. We want to try and make sure that all six strings ring out on this chord. So from the thickest string, there are all six strings ringing out and sounding good. A quick recap on the other two chords. We have your A major, starting with your first finger at the second fret of the third string middle finger just above that and third finger directly below all at second fret and that sounds like that remember because it's a, an A chord we strum it from the A string from the fifth string and um, just try not to play for the time being try not to play your thickest E string when you play that A chord and it will sound better your A chord sounds like this then you're just hitting the thicker strings and we want all the life of the guitar, all the brightness and the cool sound is in the, the thinner strings really, but we need to hit the thicker ones as well, just not the, the very thickest on an A chord. And then to change to your D chord, we keep your first finger down, if we can slide it your way a little bit more, it means that you don't have to press on as hard and that is a very good thing when we're changing between these chords. Middle finger on the second string, at the second fret of the thinnest E string. So one, two, and then your third finger making a little triangle shape at the third fret of the B string. So one, two, and three. And we strum that, again just being careful not to play your thickest E string there. Um, so changing between A to D, we covered in the previous set of videos. So you should have had plenty of exercise on that now. We're going to really be covering how to change from D to G because that's a very common change. And um, I'm afraid from the G chord to the A chord, there's no real tips and tricks I can offer for you. It is simply just repetition, which is why you've now got 10 songs to choose from. Um, there are no anchor fingers, there's no fingers staying down, they all have to lift off and move to that A major chord. What we're aiming for is to try and get all your fingers to lift off at the same time and then ideally make the shape with your fingers of the chord before you put them down. This is probably really tricky for you to kind of attempt and do at the moment but it's letting you know where I would like you to be aiming for. So when you're making each of your chords at the moment you may go one, two, three for every chord even when you change one two three between any of your chords and that's fine for now but to get quicker changes 
What we needing to do is try and memorize the finger shapes that you've positioned, uh, you're positioning your fingers in. So for example, a G chord, yes, it's one, two, three, but really if you can remember that, and apologies if that looks like I'm swearing at you, but it's kind of the way that my guitar teacher taught me to, uh, to play a G chord, to be honest, to swear at the audience a little bit. That's your G chord, okay? You remember the shape. And uh, your D major is that. That's the finger shape. And if you can do that, you can even practice guitar when you haven't even got a guitar with you, memorizing your chord fingers. So that's really handy. Um, between the D chord to a G chord, this is a really important change. This happens so much in guitar-based music. And what I would like you to be able to do, of course, is just be able to change between them normally. And just repetition will do that. I'll be showing you the songs in the other videos. But for, for now, what, what can be a really useful way to play a G um, is this. And it's what I nickname a Noel Gallagher G or a Busker's G. And we've moved a third finger up one string to the B string. And we've added your little finger on at the, uh, the little, uh, on, on the thinnest string. Um, I don't call this anything else, I nickname it a, uh, a Noel Gallagher G. It is simply, it's still a G major. We've added a, changed a note in there, we've added your third finger on. What this does is it enables you to keep your third finger down when you change to a D chord. So we have that anchor finger, we have a, a finger that we can keep down and change when we're changing between these two chords, okay? This should make it a lot easier to change between them. And in a lot of these songs, we're going to be changing between these chords. And this covers all styles of music as well. We've got a couple of classic rock riffs in here as well. And we really need to be able to get this change up to speed as quickly as possible. So this is the best way that I recommend that you do it. If you can do it the normal way, great. Get on and watch your videos. If you want a little bit more help with this, keep that third finger down when you change from a G major to a D major. Um, another tip is that your middle finger goes from the very thickest string all the way down to the thinnest. So from your G, to have a brief rec recollection of what the chord is what, before you go for it, your middle finger has to move all the way down to the thinnest string when you go for your D chord. And then that middle finger comes all the way back up for your G. So that's the one that's really got to do the, the leg work or the finger work. Um, and once you get that concept and you can keep that third finger down, your changes will improve, your songs will improve, and everything should sound better. Remember, with all these chords, we want your fingers at this side of the fret. I'm going to keep saying it because people need reminding of it in, in my experience. That's how you get these chords to sound really great and lush. Dragging your pick down every string, just to double check. And then, of course, as I say, D to A, we've covered in the previous stage. No real advantage doing either of these G's, your, your Noel Gallagher G or a Busker's G or a Standard G, when you go into the A chord, it doesn't really matter, but whenever these songs and all this section of songs will use this change, go from G to a D, really recommend we do this Noel Gallagher G with your little finger on and your third finger on to help with that change. It may lead you to get far bigger lines on your fingers, especially that little finger which hasn't been used yet at all. Um, but this can be really, really handy. And I hope you enjoy this whole section of songs. It prepares you for the next section which um, has G, D and C chord. Um, and, but you've got 10 songs at each stage to choose from. Uh, you don't have to do all the songs, just pick kind of three or four of your favourites and try and make them as varied as possible so that you're getting as much benefit of, of learning them as, as possible. Um, but yeah, check out the other videos. Please subscribe if you dig what I do, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you again.